Yeah, there we go. Um, now, permaculture, as a, uh, I've got all snazzy now, I, I've resisted all of this fancy PowerPoint stuff, but I've finally succumbed. Um, now, um, permaculture as an integrated broad, broad acre biospheric design system, it, it deals with all of, the, um, all of the spheres, the lithosphere, the land, the, the um, atmosphere, the, um, the air, and the um, hydrosphere, the water. And um, permaculture has a system of ethics and principles. And when we're looking at it from the perspective of broad acre, we're looking at um, also including things like key line design and um, other mo modalities like uh, from, or methodologies from people like Zeri, the Zero Emissions Research Institute, who are doing um, fantastic work at uh, checking the limits of yield actually pushing the, should I say, pushing the limits of yield and uh, very, very interesting integrated agricultural systems. Some of which you might be aware of, like um, simple stuff like uh, dairy farms that have, uh, that instead of just have being methane farms, uh, the methane that is, is now being captured in biodigesters. And then that sludge then goes off into, and that produces electricity as opposed to just becoming atmospheric which then powers the needs of the dairy. Then the, that effluent from that, the, the sort of uh, anaerobically treated sludge, then goes off to, into, to producing uh, mushrooms. And then the waste from that then goes off to, to feed uh, fish and so on and so forth. So you get on one, en one enterprise, these multi you're really trying to limit the amount of emissions that come off it. As they say, you know, pollution is just unused waste. Um, and they do a fantastic job of, of doing that. Um, also, there's the science of holistic management as per, as per Alan Savory, um, which is a fantastic uh, method of rangeland management, um, which fits in very, very well in our broad, broad acre um, uh, model of, of permaculture. Um, and also, the very latest stuff as far as carbon farming is concerned. And what we're trying to do is have all of these actually work together. Isn't that snazzy? You, I know you like it. Yeah. Now, now, next time I come back, it's a, work, it's a work in progress. And this is what happens when I sit on a plane. I get all bored. And I think, oh, God, I've got such a tired presentation. I've got to move this on. So um, now carbon farming is a very interesting thing. And um, we've got lots of other elements that are working with this stuff, and um, like soil food web, Elaine Ingham's work of soil food web. We've got the key line stuff, like I mentioned. Um, there's the myco mycological work of people like Paul Stamets in particular. So there's all of these other fantastic methodologies out there that are really feeding in to what I see as these four cores. Um, that, uh, that work in, as, as we would say, as our toolkit, as part of our toolkit for um, broad acre permaculture. Um, carbon farming, my goodness, isn't that a good thing? We can sequester an enormous amount of carbon in soils. Just to give you a bit of a brief, now I stole this one, I like, be careful, if you've got one of those, um, if you've got one of those promiscuous little sticks, you know those things? Yeah. <laughs> This one's actually um, got a prophylactic. It's actually pr protected. <laughs> this one's unguarded. And um, if you've got one of those things, um, then um, you know they're pretty dangerous. You can grab a fair bit of stuff if you're not looking. Um, anyway, David Holmgren wasn't looking. Yes, he was. He gave this to me. And um, just to give you a bit of an idea about permaculture for those of you who are not familiar, um, Permaculture um, deals with a whole range of um, different um, human settlement systems um, and deals with our land use and stewardship, built environment, craft, technology and tools, um, culture and education, health and spiritual well-being, finance and economics and our land tenure and community governance. All of those things together um, form a pretty dynamic system. That, um, that all revolve, again, around a system of ethics of principles. 
Now, the ethics are care of the earth, care of the people, and return of surplus or reduction of consumption. And there's many principles that are specific to permaculture, like um, you know, each element performs many functions. The use of biodiversity, each element is supported by many functions. And what I like the most is that yields are only limited by your imagination. The human brain is an amazing thing and uh, where it's used uh, for good or for evil, it's, um, it's very potent. And there's Jeff Lawton, and this is a cracking um, saying from Jeff Lawton, one of my colleagues, he says, you know, we can be just as positive as we can be as negative, which is um, exactly what I want to talk about from the perspective of, um, of our development with, on agricultural landscapes.